Today we are going to go over all of our most anticipated book releases for the rest of 2023. Even though there's only a few months left in the year, there are so many good books that are going to be released. Y'all know we already have an endless physical TBR, but we're still very excited to see what new books are going to come out and what's going to be popular and what's going to be everyone's new favorite. Some of them are from authors that we love or from books and series that we have read or want to read. So we're going to go ahead and go over some of them. We do have the list of books Books that we put together here we did put these in order of when they're going to be released so up first we actually have a couple of re-releases that are happening I have Eternal Rain by Caroline Peckham and Suzanne Valenti these are the authors of the Zodiac Academy series and this is book one in the Age of Vampires series I'm pretty sure this originally released maybe in like 2019 but they ended up taking it back adding a lot more content and they've done a bunch of editing and rewriting so I never read it the original time I want to read it now I know it is a vampire romance and it says it's going to be enemies to lovers a dark fantasy romance series since the series had already existed they're pretty much releasing every book in the series like five weeks apart so after this first one drops September 19th they said the next one's coming out in October and so forth so that's gonna be another cool one to kind of read along with they did announce that Zodiac Academy 9 will be released in like May of next year so I know everyone will be happy that that series is finally over but I'm excited to start this new one so I wanted to start off with that one even though it is a re-release because I don't think many people have really heard about it. Another re-release we know is coming out is Becoming Coulter and Finding Eden by Mia Sheridan. Mia Sheridan is the author that wrote Archer's Voice, which I absolutely loved. This was a duet that Mia Sheridan released in 2015. These new covers are coming out October 3rd, and I have been wanting to read this duet, but knowing that these new covers are coming out, I'm gonna wait until they come out. So this story is a forbidden friends to lovers romance. The bottom of the synopsis says if they want any chance at a future, they must risk everything to choose between the life they were taught to live and the dream their hearts want to follow. That sounds so good. I'll definitely want to pick up those new covers because they are gorgeous. I also really like Mia Sheridan's writing, so my hopes for that one. It seems like October 3rd is just a really popular publishing day for a lot of people because there's a bunch more books coming out that day. We have Throne of the Fallen by Carrie Maniscalco. It says Throne of the Fallen is a seductive new standalone novel set within the fan favorite Kingdom of the Wicked World. Together, and Vivian and Camila must embark on a journey from glittering demon courts to the sultry vampire realm and encounters with exiled fae while trying to avoid the most dangerous trap of all, falling in love. It sounds cute. I had no idea this was her adult debut, so I think that'll be really cool to see. I haven't read any of her work yet, but I do have a bunch of her books on my fall TBR. So after I read those, I'll have to get into this one. Also on October 3rd, we have Wreck the Halls by Tessa Bailey. I absolutely love Tessa Bailey. I love her It Happened One Summer duet. So seeing that she has a winter book, that is so exciting. It says a sexy, hilarious, standalone holiday rom-com about the adult children of two former rock stars who team up to convince their estranged mothers to play a Christmas Eve concert. That sounds like fun. I love everything I've read by Tessa Bailey so far, so I'm sure I would love this. And I think this would be a fun one for you to just see if you like her writing. Another one on October 3rd is The Intern by Michelle Campbell. It says a law student gets her dream internship with a federal judge who is assigned to her brother's criminal case. This one just sounds like a fun mystery thriller. I know there's going to be a bunch more coming out this year, but this one sounds really interesting and I really like the cover, so this might be a fun one. Next we have My Darling Girl by Jennifer McMahon. This is a horror book coming out on October 3rd. I haven't read too many horror books, but I really want to start getting into that genre, so this one sounds pretty good. It says that Christmas, a woman takes in her estranged mother who is dying of cancer when otherworldly things begin to happen. That does sound spooky. I didn't know it was going to be for Christmas time, so that would be a fun, like, winter horror book. Yeah. So on October 5th, we have book four in the Bridge Kingdom series. The series is by Danielle L. Jensen. I absolutely loved the first two books in this series. The first two books were following one couple, Laura and Aaron, and then the second two books are following a different couple. So the book that is releasing is called The Endless Four, and this is just the second book to the second couple. Pretty much their romance is going to be like an enemies to lovers type of thing. It says Zara is a soldier raised as an heir to an empire. She knows two things. One is that this family is responsible for the murder of her family and the other is that she's gonna get revenge. So the love interest, I believe, is going to be the son of that family. I loved the first two books, like I said. The writing was amazing. I still think about that story and the characters, so I know these are gonna be no different. And the covers are gorgeous, so I can't wait for this one. On October 10th, Wildfire by Hannah Grace is going to be coming out. This is the second book in the Maple Hill series. The first one was Icebreaker. There was a lot of mixed reviews on that one. Some people didn't enjoy it, some people did. I thought I enjoyed it. I just remember I wanted the second book to be about Henry and 
this one is about rusts i remember liking him in that book so i'm not too mad but i'm still waiting on henry's book this says the latest in the maple hill series follows two summer camp counselors who reconnect after a sizzling one night stand that already sounds really good the cover is absolutely gorgeous it's going to sit so nice and pretty right next to my icebreaker book i don't think this one has too much to do with sports like icebreaker did so i'm interested to see how this camp counselor thing is gonna work that sounds like a lot of fun i'm really interested to read this one so another october 10th release is a holly jolly ever after it's another christmas book by julie murphy and sierra simone this sounds good and i've been wanting to read sierra simone's priest i've heard that's a really good series so it says this holiday rom-com is about an actress and a perpetually single former boy band member reunited as co-stars on a steamy holiday film that's kind of fun sierra simone i've heard writes really steamy books and just based off the overall synopsis i'm getting that type of vibe so i think that'll be a fun one for winter that one and the tessa bailey one would be cool to read another one coming out on october 10th is caught up by liz tom ford this is going to be the third book in the wind city series i did just finally read mile high and i absolutely loved it it was pretty much a five star for me i was just being a little too picky and after reading the synopsis for the third one i'm really excited because this is actually a professional baseball book and i have never read a baseball romance yet i think that's really exciting this says kai i'm a single dad and starting pitcher for chicago's mlb team i'm stretched too thin but i I don't want help raising my son. Each of his previous nannies only lasted a few weeks before I let them go. Now my coach is putting his foot down by hiring the one person I can't fire. His daughter. <gasps> Coach's daughter? That is cute. Miss Liz Tom Ford knows what she's doing. Okay, this might be my most anticipated read of all of these. It's single dad trope, coach's daughter, baseball. That's a fun time for me. I cannot wait to read this one. On October 13th, for you romance girlies, we know that book five in the Chestnut Spring series is coming out, Hopeless by Elsie Silver. We have not started the series yet, but we've seen amazing things about it. The first one is called Flawless. We know it's a bunch of like small town, kind of like cowboy-ish romances. I believe every book in the series follows a different couple. So this one is about Bo. It says he's the town prince, a handsome military hero with a tortured past. And it says she is an outcast bartender, a shy girl from the wrong side of the tracks. He's 35 and she's 22. I don't love age gap, but I know a lot of other people do. It does say though that it's like her fake fiance. So there's a little bit of fake dating. It says this engagement was supposed to be for show. This agreement has an end date. He once told me he'd never fall in love. And yet here I am head over heels for my fake fiance. That's cute. We've heard great things about this series. So we might I have to start it after seeing what everyone's saying about this new release. Another one coming out on October 17th is The Endurance of Wildflowers. This is the novella to the Confidence of Wildflowers duet, which I absolutely love. That is an age gap romance, but I had a lot of fun with it. It was like such a roller coaster. There was high moments, there was sad moments. The fact that there's a novella and we're gonna get a little extra layer of closure just makes me so happy. And of course, this cover is just as beautiful as the other two. So this will be a nice addition to add to these books and I'm sure we're all going to be happy to just see these people again and say goodbye again. Also on October 17th, Unmaking of June Pharaoh by Adrienne Young is going to come out and I am so excited because you guys know how much we love Adrienne Young and her writing. It says a woman risks everything to end her family's century old curse, solve her mother's disappearance and find love in this mesmerizing novel. I'm so excited. It just says the Unmaking of June Pharaoh is a brilliant novel of romance mystery and a touch of the impossible, a story you will never forget. This one I feel like was kind of flying under the radar because I haven't heard anyone talking about it. And I love Adrian Young. So this is going to be a must get for me this year. On October 24th, A Curse for True Love by Stephanie Garber is coming out. We still need to read Once Upon a Broken Heart. This is already the third book in the series being released and we have yet to read the first one, but we've heard such amazing things. I've been kind of hesitant because I did not like Carval and it's the same author, but with the amount of good things I've heard about this one, I think I'd want to read it. I'm hoping we just don't have to read Carnival at all because I know a lot of people say they kind of go hand in hand, but I'm hoping that I will be perfectly fine not reading Carnival and just jumping into this book. We know this is a YA fantasy romance series, so I think it's about time we start it. And I think when this book does come out, we're gonna hear so many great things about it and it's gonna pressure us to read it. So I can't wait. So on October 31st, Elle Kennedy is dropping a new series called Campus Diaries and book one is called The Gram Affair. 
effects. I'm pretty sure Gigi is Hannah and Garrett's daughter. So if you read the Off Campus series, it's cool that we're gonna be able to see like their kids now and see their story. So it says Gigi has three goals, qualify for the women's national hockey team, win an Olympic gold, and step out of her famous father's shadow. So far so good, except for two things. She needs to improve her game behind the net and she needs help from Luke Ryder. Ryder is six foot five, opinionated, rude, and sexy as hell. That's all I need to know. Elle Kennedy is just so good at writing these fun romance novels. We always have a good time reading them. They're always such solid books. I haven't even finished the Briar U series, so I definitely want to do that beforehand before even picking up any other book by her. But I think it's cool she's starting another series. Maybe it'll be about like all the kids, which will be cool to see. But this one just seems like a fun one coming out. On November 7th, Iron Flame by Rebecca Yeros is coming out. That is the second book in the fourth wing series. Probably the most anticipated release for most of the book community. At least anyone who picked up fourth wing. I feel like we're all kind of waiting for book two. I want answers. I want world building. I want it all in the second book and I can't wait to read it. We should have pre-ordered it. Still time. Now that she knows the truth, can Violet survive her second year at the Dragon Riding College with a new commandment determined to make her betray her friends? I'm super interested to see what this book is going to entail. I'm going to be looking for a lot of things in the second one, so I'm ready for it to come out. There's a bunch of books releasing on November 7th, so another one of them is Night Bane by Alex Astor. This is book two after Light Lark. I loved Light Lark. I know people are saying it's kind of like an industry plant because it's just kind of like the exposure that it got over this YA fantasy was kind of extreme, which I agree. They're like making it into a movie already, which is crazy because while I did like it, it wasn't anything like insane. However, I'm so so excited to read this book too. So book one was all about the Sentinel. Every 100 years the island of Lightlark appears to host the Sentinel which is like the deadly game that the six rulers are able to go to to try to like defeat their curses. Absolutely fantastic first book. I cannot wait to see where book two is going to go. I just remember being super pleasantly surprised with this one so I think this is going to be another one on everyone's radar and it's going to be interesting to see. On November 7th Allie Hazelwood is going to be coming out with Check and Mates. This is actually going to be a YA romance so it's going to be interesting to see how different her writing is for the YA book. It says Mallory enters a charity chess event and beats the handsome world champion sending her into the world of chess a game that destroyed her family. I think that already sounds really good so there's going to be a little bit of family drama in there with the YA romance and with chess. It's giving the queen's gambit. <laughs> it is giving the queen's gambit. I love the queen's gambit. Me too. Another one on November 7th we have Powerless by Lauren Roberts. I was so upset I didn't get to buy this book before it was like taken off the shelves. I believe she like self-published first and now it got like picked up by a publisher so it's finally re-releasing and I can't wait to get my hands on it. So the plot of this sounds so good. It says she is the very thing he spent his whole life hunting. He is the very thing she spent her whole life pretending to be. It says having been trained by her father to be overly observant since she was a child, Hayden poses as a psychic in the crowded city blending in with the elites. So she doesn't actually have any powers but she's just good enough to act like it. The issue is coming from this competition that she's gonna have to fight in with no powers essentially. So I'm just so ready to read this. November 7th, I'm gonna go pick it up. Barnes & Noble's doing like an exclusive edition of it. On November 21st, Mia Sheridan is dropping a special edition of Archer's Voice. That book was so wholesome and good. I will be picking up that special edition. I think it is so beautiful. And also Mia Sheridan has actually left in all of her annotation notes in the special edition. So I think that'll be really awesome to see what she was thinking while writing this and to get more insight on the characters and the setting and everything like that. So I think that'll be so much fun. So on November 28th, Betting on You by Lynn Painter is going to be releasing. She did better than the movies. We somehow have not read that book yet, but we desperately want to. So this is going to be like her newest release. It says 17 year old Bailey starts a new job at a hotel water park. She's less than thrilled to see an old acquaintance as one of her coworkers. I don't know why I love this water park setting. It reminds me of that movie the way way back which I absolutely loved. So it says Charlie has a secret, a secret that involves Bailey. Can the two make a real go of things or has Charlie's secret doomed them before they could start? It's always something. The boys always have something going on but I am interested. This seems like a fun summer book maybe for next year but I just thought it would be a cool one to include because we know everyone loves
loved her writing in Better Than the Movies. December 7th, the fifth volume of Heartstopper is going to be coming out and I thought those books were so freaking cute. I haven't started the series yet on Netflix but I really do want to but I think the people who play them are so stinking cute. So the fact that there's going to be a fifth book makes me think there's going to be more seasons. I think these graphic novels are so wholesome and heartwarming so I will definitely be reading that fifth one. So last on our list on December 26th we have Ruthless Vows by Rebecca Ross coming out. This is book two in the Letters of Enchantment series so the sequel to Divine Rivals which is our current book club book we're currently reading and we're currently loving. This is going to be so cool that the second one is releasing so soon after we've read Divine Rivals. It says the epic conclusion to the intensely romantic beautifully written story that started in Divine Rivals. I'm not going to read any of the rest because I don't want to spoil it but basically Divine Rivals has been so good. It's kind of like a low stakes fantasy romance. We have like two people who are communicating through like this magical typewriter. Rebecca Ross's writing has been so beautiful. All of the quotes I've been like trying to underline. It's just been such a good reading experience so can't wait to read book two. I've heard it kind of ends crazy. Lots of new books coming out. We have a whole lot of reading to do. <laughs> this was just a couple that we wanted to include on our list but we know there's going to be a bunch more releases so let us know in the comments some of your most anticipated releases for the rest of the year and let us know if you're excited about any of the ones that we went over today. There's lots of great books releasing soon so we can't wait to get some of them. That's pretty much it for today's video though. We just wanted to talk about some of our favorites coming out. Make sure to join our book club if you haven't already. You better read Divine Rivals before this book too comes out soon. That link is in the description to join. Also make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you next time. <laughs> Forbidden friends to lovers romance. Ooh. Ooh. With the body of a god. Ooh. Ooh, Eden is betrothed to Akata's leader. Ak Akadia. Akadia? <laughs> Tessa Bailey up next. Oh yeah, wreck the balls. <clears throat> balls? <laughs> oh. <laughs> October 3rd, we have Wreck the- <laughs> <laughs> oh, See? That sounds like fun. It, it, that does sound fun. <laughs>